the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is some good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO or Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and get the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones. It's the time of the season when love runs high in this time. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I have Dr. Stanley Monteith on the line. Before we go back to him, I just want to remind you that we have a special at InfoWarsLife.com. Four Eyed Shield, 25% off for a limited time. That's an exclusive blend of key herbs and ingredients specifically infused with the formula to help support the elimination of toxic forms of fluoride and other dangerous compounds like mercury, chlorine, bromine from within the body. So very important to take care of your health, your family's health. We know that this is part of the larger plan we've just been talking to Dr. Monteith about, the larger plan of reducing the population and controlling us through economic collapse and also through the collapse of the population, the collapse of your health. We also have available at InfoWarsStore.com the new Milan Lave belt buckles, a limited edition run of only 500 buckles per cover per color. And uh, these are this is the same design that you see on the uh, T-shirts. It's a great design there with the Spartan helmet and uh, Milan Lave on the sides. Uh, this is, it has a Made in 1776 logo on the back, and as a special edition run, a limited edition run, it has the number on the back of the buckle of each one of these uh, buckles. They're numbered. 
Uh, they're beautiful buckle. It's a great way to start a conversation with people about uh, what that's all about. When they ask you what Molon Lave means, you can tell them. And it's a way to support our operation. Again, that's at InfoWarsStore.com. Get them while they last. The limited edition run of 500 buckles per color. Moulin Lave. Dr. Monteith, we were just talking before the break. You had just brought up Cloward and Piven, of course, the 1960s uh, social scientist who essentially came up with a plan to accelerate the economic collapse of the country through a rapidly expanding welfare system. Doing it through the Democrat Party, they suggested, and as always, and this is always a plan, that we saw this in the movie, uh, The Last Captain America, where you've got the uh, villain coming out and saying, uh, we have to destroy the society before we can rebuild it the way we want it to be. And that is the design of all of these globalist social planners to essentially destroy society so they can then rebuild it the way they want. And the way they want is essentially a feudal system where they control and own everything. And not too many people are left. Uh, those who are left don't have any say-so. They are pushed back into a kind of feudalistic uh, society. Wouldn't you say, Dr. Monty? Right. That's exactly what is intended. And, of course, the logical thing is, if you're going to have this welfare state, why well, you ought to raise taxes. Well, they're not raising the taxes. In fact, Half the people in America don't pay any taxes, and the other half, us, they pay taxes. But basically, we're going behind at least a trillion dollars a us in the a year. Basically, over the last ten years, when George W. Bush became president, and that was in 2000. Uh, let's see, we actually uh, it was 5.7 trillion. Today, it's uh, 17 trillion. Basically, we this thing is just completely out of control. We're going behind a trillion dollars a year, and that's what they'll admit to. And one of these days, this whole thing is going to collapse because other countries are going to uh, back away from the American dollar. And I really do believe that this is exactly what is planned. When it's going to happen, I can't tell you. I'm amazed that they've been able to keep it going as long as they can. But increasingly, other countries do not want uh, to actually utilize the American dollar in trade. And they're turning to other possible currencies, the Chinese currency, a combination of Russian and Chinese currency. What it's going to be, I don't know. But with this, is going to be the destruction of the value of probably of, of 30 to 50 percent of the value of our currency and the impoverishment of our people. And I think we're going to see suddenly much lower living standards. I oh, also yes. think we're going to see increasing state of violence and unrest in this country. And in one manner or another, I do really believe they're going to create social unrest and violence. And I really fear this. Uh, and we're bringing all of these young children in. Why? Because it appeals to me. Who can be against children? Who mm -hmm. can be against helping a women with a little uh, two-year-old children who want a better life? Well, if we don't stop the invasion of our country... This country is going to be destroyed. And the thing is, it's you know, Dr. going right along with it. Dr. Monteith, it was just this weekend that Nancy Pelosi said, I, I just wish I could take all these children home with me. Well, there's a reason that she can't take them home with her. She couldn't take care of all those children. And we can't take care of all the world's poor children. Collapsing the border is going to collapse our country. And she knows that. She knows that she can't take them home and care for them individually. She doesn't have the financial resources. And she knows that our country doesn't have the financial resources to care for everybody as well. There's many things that could be done to help these children. Many of the problems that they have are problems that we have created with our war on drugs. But so many people, especially Christians, will look at this and say, well, I think we just ought to help all these children, not looking at what the bigger picture is. You're talking about not knowing when this is going to happen. I don't know if you're familiar with the works of uh, Strauss and Howe, the fourth turning. They had predicted 10 years before the bankers bubble burst back in 2007, 2008. They had written a book back in 1998. They said, we don't know exactly what form it's going to take, but there's going to be some kind of a major economic downturn in about 10 years. And it did, in fact, happen in about 10 years. 
they've looked at history going all the way back to the mid 1400s and saying this is a repeating cycle about every year every every 80 years there's a major turning in society that's based on generations coming of age and when that happens we have things like the great depression in world war ii 80 years prior to that the civil war 80 years prior to that the revolutionary war they're looking at something happening about 2020 2025 and i think it's very telling that all of these projections that you see coming from the government they're all about that time and when i looked at this article that came up uh, yesterday about fairfax county kindergarten classes that 40 percent of those children couldn't speak english and they started talking about it about the class of 2026 i think it's very telling that they're bringing in a lot of children that don't have any cultural connection to america don't have any background and trying to separate them from their families so they can be raised by the state. And it's very hard to get to those young children that are being educated by the state that speak a different language. It's very hard to get to them and get them to understand the foundation and the importance of individual liberty. I think this is Obama's youth corps that's being brought in right now for the events that are going to take place in about five to ten years. What do you think? Well, I think it's happening, but sooner than that. Yes. I think if you talk to the young people who are graduating from high school today, they have no loyalty to America. They have no loyalty to God. They're globalists. People do not understand the purpose of our education it is to destroy the belief in America of our youth. And they don't understand freedom. They honestly believe that we need an all-powerful state to provide for the people who want to be wonderful. So I think that this is going on right now. I don't think we have to worry about the future. I think it's going on today. Yes. And an increasing number of young people today are now atheists, thanks to our schools. An increasing number of people, young people are globalists, thanks to our schools. And heaven help us. You had mentioned earlier this has been a plan going back to uh, uh, Babylonian times. Uh, we've seen it written in detail, as you mentioned, in Plato's Republic, where he said... He wanted children to be raised by the state, even taking it to the extreme of saying that he didn't want any children in his ideal republic to even know who their parents were. So they had no loyalty to anything other than the state. It's always been the dream of dictators to educate children, to keep them under their control. We've heard so many times from so many different, uh, it's been attributed to so many different dictators, to Hitler, to Stalin. But they all know that if you get a child very early in life and you train them, they're yours for life. And, of course, that's what the Hitler Youth were about. I believe that's what Obama's FEMA Corps is about, his uh, youth corps. They're always looking for ways to get their hooks into children. And what better way to do this than to bring in a massive amount of children from another country without connections to their, the culture that's here, without connections to a family, even speaking another language. I think that's a key part of what's going on right now with this collapse of the border. Yes, but they're doing it and also with the English-speaking children. Yes. Mm -hmm. And basically... The yes. parents don't have any idea because they don't have a chance to talk to their children about how they really feel or how they really believe. So I think it's so vital in fact that we, we can talk about the historical aspect of this. In fact, in preparation for the talk today, I've actually uh, gone back and read some of the newsletters I wrote uh, April, May, and June of 2000. April, May, and June of 2000. We're talking about, what, 14 years ago. But going back into the whole ideas of Plato, people must understand that Plato was part and parcel of this, just as his predecessor mm -hmm. Socrates and his predecessor Pythagoras were all part and parcel of this move to bring about a one-world government under a ruling leader. And Plato said it exactly right in his book, The Republic. Democracy doesn't work. Democracy doesn't work. And basically that's why he wanted a one ruler. He wanted a, an ideal ruler who is going to rule the world. That has always been the plan. That was the plan of Socrates. It was the plan of Plato. It was the plan of Aristotle. And that's, of course, what Alexander the Great was. Alexander was the uh, uh, Aristotle's student, and Alexander uh, you know, died trying to rule the world. And that is exactly what's going on today. Exactly 
the same 